so like last lap you just air block and took your line away and did the grip thing enough to, to take your air until it happened. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just uh, this racing, it's really hard to pass the lead car. Um, I knew I knew I was going to fight an uphill battle once I lost the, the lead there. I knew I could, the way you know, my car was, I knew I was going to time out to get close to him, or, or hoped anyways, but I figured I would time out to get close to him there in the final 20, and that's kind of what happened, and I started moving around, and I knew once I got within three, he was just going to you know, start moving around and shut my ear off, so it's just really easy to do it. Um, you kind of saw it with me in the second stage, like I was kind of just back in the field up to me, and then you know, once they started pushing, I could push, and and just shut their air off a little bit, not even run the same exact line, but just, you know, make my car wide enough to, um, yeah, shut the air off. So, yeah, just uh, just that racing, and, and you know, it's more magnified, I think, when you get the tracks so, with, you know, a little grip. With the air block, are you surprised how fast you can the field? No, because you're passing guys who are in dirty air also, so, um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't surprising. It's just, it's just hard. Once you get to the top five, it's hard to pass guys because the pace is a little bit faster and um, their cars are driving a little bit better. And then you know the lead cars is really, really tough to pass because um, yeah, they can kind of just you know run wherever they want really. So he did a good job. It's not like he really did anything special to uh, to win as far as the air blocking went. He executed some really good restarts, but you know it's just it's not hard to air block in these cars. Is that I mean? Kyle Busch said yesterday, like, this car is way better used as a defensive tool than an offensive tool, and that seemed like the perfect example of something yeah. that, correct? Yeah, for sure, and, um, I mean, you see it a lot of, a lot of places uh, with the next-gen car, so, yeah, I would, I would totally agree with that, um, but it just makes, you know, executing that much more important, you know, good pit stops, good restarts, all the, the details, um, to get yourself into that lead where you can, you know, play a little bit of defense and, and hold them off, you know, easy. Did do anybody predict where the 11 car goes in the corner? Or by, by the time you know what lane he's picking, it's kind of too late? Yeah, I mean, there was there was one time, you know, when he, like, finally started moving up, and I was, you know, like, moving, moving further up, trying to kind of drag him up the racetrack. And then I thought, you know, maybe I could catch him off guard and shoot to the bottom. And it's just, I don't know if he runs a camera, um, but probably does. And it's really easy. And I shot to the bottom, and he pulled down to the bottom. So um, it's just... It's really easy with the cameras and the car. You know, it's easy to air block. Honestly, like if they took the cameras out of the car, that's probably one of the you know little things I think that could fix it. You know, because it's hard to see out of the rearview mirrors, um, but the cameras are so easy. So I mean, I would I would be for if they you know took the cameras out because it's like I said, it's so easy. Like when I was leading when Bowman was behind me, I'm just literally. I'm literally just staring at my camera and like when he turns right I'm turning right when he pulls down I'm pulling down when you have the mirror you can't really see that well so it's harder to do that but um, yeah just uh, it's, it's a tool and, and we're all using it really well. Is it easier to do here than other tracks here to help pass these places? No, no, it's just as easy. Like, I mean, that's how I won Vegas. I was just, you know, shutting Reddick's air off and watching my camera. Um, it's just really easy to do. Before the race, were you surprised how big would do it? I wasn't surprised that he said yes or whatever, just because, I mean, who wouldn't want to, you know, say they got to drive a Hendrick Motorsports Cup car? Um, so no, I wasn't surprised, but um, just happy. You know, I know there's a lot of kind of hoops probably to jump through on everybody's part. So um, I'm excited to have him, you know, be a part of our team for you know, a practice session and get to kind of see how we work a little bit and, and hopefully, you know, work with Cliff to, to get our car even you know, better. Who's more intense, Harvick or Cliff? I mean, I would. I haven't been around. Har I think Harvick softened up with age, so I would say Cliff for sure, probably Cliff. You Thank mentioned you. how hard it is to see outside the rear view mirror. Would that be a safety issue if the camera was taken away? No, because we ran with just mirrors for decades. So the cameras are only come about since, you know, next gen. So, um, no, I, I, I think uh, we would be fine safety-wise.